this is Artifacts of Mars. And this is day two of my uh, investigation. I will be leaving early, probably about one o'clock or so. This is apparently a local funeral home. I don't know if they're open. And don't look like they're open. And this is uh, Saturday, July 4th. So, probably not going to be dealing with anything today. You can see it's a very real place. I don't know if this was mentioned in any of the videos or not. Alright. Okay, this intersection is the main intersection in town. You can see a big flag, street lights on it. Uh, going down is Churchill Road and the street going across is Main Street. This is a real new town. It's not the one that you saw in the uh, news and uh, conspiracy videos. This is a real new town. That flag is really tall. There's a uh, church, a cathedral or something over there. I'll try to go over there maybe a little bit later and see if there's anybody to talk to. I am on the way to the Newtown Police Department and talk to them and ask them some very pointed questions about Sandy Hook. Uh, something down this way has caught my eye. I saw an interesting spire. This is Side Street. I don't know the name of it. I can, can find out. So we're going to go down here and see if there's anything interesting down here. I heard of... Um, well, there was a video that showed a bunch of these buildings and they said they looked almost like a movie set. I have yet to find that. Uh, the firehouse looked like a movie set, kinda. And here comes the speeder. Okay, I have the spire in sight. We're gonna see what that is, and I'm gonna have to change batteries. These ones are exhausted, only these ones actually wore out. Okay. Newtown Congregational Church, uh, United Church of Christ, founded in 1714. This is a very old area. It makes sense it's closer to close than Western New York is. Don't know if there's anybody here or not. I'd love to have somebody to interview. It's just weird, there's a total lack of interest. There's a car here, so there may be some hope. <laughs> I'll go, uh, there are a couple cars here, so I might see if there's somebody in who uh, wouldn't mind being interviewed. Hang on. Alrighty, place is locked, so I'm going to head back towards the center of town, and we'll go from there. Uh, it's on the way, my way to the police station. Hopefully they'll give me an interview. If they don't, then they don't. Time's very limited. I need to go back to my hotel room and eat about 11, turn in my room key, and head on out.
just for documentation, this is Newtown Public Library. Typical brick building. No surprises. Okay, just for documentation, that's the uh, police department here. They refused an interview. They told me to go to the state police. You don't run around. Newtown Police. Let it be stated for the record that Newtown Police were unfriendly as well. Not only did they refuse to interview, they were unfriendly, but they didn't hassle me. So I'm still looking for somebody who wouldn't mind being interviewed for this. Nobody wants to talk about it. I do not understand. They told me to go to the, the state police, exit 14. Probably won't happen, but we'll see. Okay, this is the inn at Newtown. Uh, I tried to get a room here, and just for understanding's sake, they said they only have three rooms. That's uh, BS. It is bovine excrement. They have more rooms than that. They got middle gate, they got taunton. I don't know that word, taunton. So there was some stone wall in there. I don't think my reputation could have preceded me that fast. Anyway, there it is. I was also turned down by another one, which I will be coming up and photographing soon. Stonewalled. Okay, this is the other one. Uh, the guy I talked to was not pleasant. So, nope, we don't have anything. Dana Holcomb House, he was actually fairly rude to me. So he didn't have anything, but anyway, there it is. Uh, I'm actually better down in a day's in, and better down in a day's in a few miles from here. At least I found some place to stay. I can't go back during the night because I got the roads all chewed up, and it would be an extremely scary ride. My next stop is going to be a cemetery, if I can find it, I've been told where it is, and I will test those directions. The directions I received to uh, the Sandy Hook School were rather inaccurate to say the least. But like I said, I did find it almost accidentally. I walk along and, oh, there it is! Stonewalled. Well, I got, went and got myself lost, uh, and I accidentally ran into the Mutant, Newtown Municipal Center. How uh, very interesting. Uh, some conspiracy theorists, well, they call them conspiracy theorists, did a uh, segment on this, and I couldn't find it. I was going, what the hell? Well, right here it is. I ran into it by accident. Unbelievable. It's exactly as the guy said. It looks like a movie set. I don't know what the, all these buildings are. I don't have time. I gotta get back to my hotel room and eat and leave. Uh... It's surreal. I have to see uh, whose video that was. Uh, it actually got banned from a chat group. A lot of libs don't want to hear this stuff, so they 
they love to ban things from the chat groups. You know, we're supposed to buy into everything, we're supposed to believe everything. It, it was exactly as this guy said. There are some people here, but these buildings are abandoned. It really is, you know, kind of like a mu movie set in a way. And take a look at it for yourself. I've been given enough BS. As soon as I find my way back to my hotel room, I'm going to eat, turn in my key, and leave. Because I've been BS'd enough that uh, I've had enough of this place. It's a pretty area, but... I don't like bullshit. I mean, bullshit is bullshit, and it always stinks. I don't know what all these buildings are. I'm just going to document them. Uh, this place is humongous. The one guy said there are cops everywhere. I haven't seen anything more than a typical police presence. There are some cops around the area. I don't see any cops here. But yes. But on the other hand, he was right that this kind of does look like a movie set in a way. This is an enormous complex. It's not small. If I had time I have to get back and check out my hotel room or I'm going to get charged a second time. Uh, this place is enormous. I don't know what all these buildings are. I have time to research them. I got to try to find my way back. I think I got my ass lost. I was giving BS directions to a cemetery. I asked somebody. Direction, directions she gave me were total BS. Never did find that, but I found this place only because I got lost and ran into it. Fairfield Hills Campus town of Newtown Munip Municipal Center not much going on in, around here as you can see got to cost a fortune to keep all these uh, lawns mowed for a bunch of buildings that apparently aren't in use or aren't used much It really is like a surreal, it's kind of like a movie set. If I can ever find uh, Route 6, I know how to get back to my cabin. I had, I think I had it the wrong way actually. I kind of got this stuff mixed up. It's my fault. It's not unknown for me to get lost on the roads. I'm much better out in the field where I have things to help guide me. Critters. This place is surreal. Surreal and bizarre. Oh yeah, you don't think they don't have uh, whole squatters in these buildings? You better believe they do. I'm sure they do. Really not part of the investigation other than just document this stuff. It's bizarre though. It really is. 
but like I said, this information was banned from the chat group. So there's uh, something here that nobody wants you to see. It really is like a movie set though, it's bizarre and surreal, there's a few people here, uh, a couple of bicycles coming my way, harmless. Well that's that ca campus, I did see this in another video, the guy was correct in my opinion, he did a good job. And this information was banned from the internet. Why? I don't know. Fortunately, I have my own Yuku chat group, so if somebody bans something, I can uh, put it there where they can't ban it. It's not Yuku that bans it, it's uh, individual group owners. I quit in one group. They committed. The owner claims to be a born again Christian, and get this, he committed an act of extortion against me and he so calls me his friend. I don't understand, that's surreal. Anyway, that's a little personal BS. I'll see if I can get help in getting back to Newtown. I need to get back to my uh, hotel room and eat and leave. This is Artifacts of Mars. I'll give you one more good sweep. No cops here. No unusual activity. But the place is bizarre. There's no question of that. And I haven't found anyone who's willing to discuss Sandy Hook. Cops refused. I've been stonewalled, lied, and misdirected, so I want out of this place. I want to fax to Mars, and I'm going to have to do a follow-up report on this. I'll probably take this footage, and then once I get back to my desktop computer, Yeah. Well, once I get back to my desktop top computer, I have uh, better programs and stuff on that. And what I'll do is I'll set the desktop up and I'll finish up on this uh, Sandy Hook st segment. Bizarre. I want out of this area. Hey, this artifacts of Mars. I got back from my uh, Sandy Hook Newtown trip on the fourth, and I want to share some observations. I think one of the primary observations is that there didn't seem to be any memorials. There didn't. Se nobody seemed to care. Be perfectly honest with you. I tried to at least get some conversations going, but and there are absolutely no takers. I think that's a little peculiar, given that we're told what 26, 27 people were massacred and a bunch of kids. Yet I went around the area and there weren't any memorials. There wasn't anything. There wasn't any mention of it anywhere that I looked. And I couldn't find a modern cemetery so to check the gravestones. I did try. I'm not going back there. So my initial impression is, you know, this place was attacked, and this place 
was in mourning and there's cops all over the place and they'll be grieving forever and ever, amen. I got news for you. That is bullshit. Okay, when I took a look at Firehouse, well, uh, Firehouse footage, there was a, uh, tape out there, file on YouTube that showed people going in one out, one door, out the other, roundy, roundy, roundy. And I looked at the Firehouse and I have no explanation for it. I mean, the footage is genuine, but what was going on there? There's some serious shucking and jiving, that's a redneck term, going on with this Sandy Hook thing. I mean, first I was misdirected to the place, but I found it nearly by accident. Then I took a look at it and going, hey, you know, what the dickens is going on here? So we'll bring out our bowl again. That is bullshit. I didn't go there to be a star, I went there to look for information, and to be honest with you, I was a little disappointed that there wasn't, no one seemed to really give flying fuck. They didn't seem to pay any attention. The fact that I was there was weird. You'd expect more than that. Now, St. Rose's of Lima is a rather large complex, apparently Catholic. Uh, it was shown in some video footage as having a bunch of cops there. Here's the odd thing. They were going around and around. The CNN called it uh, Sandy Hook when it wasn't. It was St. Rose's of Lima. They are very close together. I could walk there, no problem. I did ask a representative, and he told me, <clears throat> nope, incident never happened, cops were never here. You can take that as you wish. Either he meant the cops were never there because there wasn't any Sandy Hook, or the cops weren't, never went there, in which case he was lying. I prefer to think that the guy is lying. I mean, it was proven by IntelliHub that the uh, cops were there and that CNN so that they were at Sandy Hook. So, I'm going to have to say it again. You're not going to like hearing it. But this is another flaw in the official story. Big one this time. That is incredible bullshit. And here's another thing. You know, if we were to believe the press, then what I would have expected was I would expect to find all sorts of uh, political signs all over the place. Bang guns, do this, do that. I didn't see a single damn one. This is one of the things I don't understand. Besides the fact there were no Sandy Hook memorials. I didn't even see any of those stupid ribbons that we see all around here where I live. You know, have these stupid ribbons everywhere from one thing or another, which is fine. They can have their stupid ribbons. I don't care. I didn't see any memorials of any kind. Although, you know, they have the standard plaques. This is how this place came to be and all that. 
I'm not counting those, but they didn't have any memorials about guns. They didn't have any political signs, get guns out of the hands of dangerous people. They didn't have any signs saying guns killed all these kids. There wasn't any mention, period. I was so frustrated I couldn't believe what I was seeing. There just was nothing that I found. But it gets worse, which I'll do in the next segment. No guns. No political signs. They seem to know about it, but they don't talk about it. It's bizarre beyond comprehension. I just don't have any explanation. I only found the one cemetery it only goes up to the 1940s, so that one didn't count. I did receive directions. I asked a woman, she's, you know, 30 something, I figure. She was out walking, she walked faster than I did. And she gave me very clear, concise directions, which I filed to go down to the cemetery. I said, oh, great. Here, I'm going to prove myself wrong. There is no conspiracy here, there's no, no lies, bodies will be buried there, right? Well, that's not what happened. I didn't find any cemetery. And furthermore, the weird thing about this place, you don't have the root signs, you do have those. And, you know, Danbury this far, and Bethel this far. You have those. But I didn't see very many signs pointing anything else out. In contrast to that to this place, you have those all over the place. And there wasn't any sign pointing Sandy Hook School. There wasn't any sign pointing towards any school. You had to, uh basically drive by it and I was misdirected I'm gonna go over the misdirection in the next segment because this is a little more complex I'm gonna talk about how I was uh, basically given the BS tour if you want to put it like that no signs no cemeteries that I can find, no memorials, no nothing. And here's a weird thing. Now, the kids were pretty helpful. Like one at the gas station helped me find an open hotel. It was the adults that weren't helpful. The adults didn't provide me with any decent information at all. In fact, they seem to be intentionally misdirecting me. Like when I asked about cemetery and I was sent on a wild goose chase. So there's something going on with that too. It, I, my guess is that these may be people, I you know, the law and these may be people who are trained to misdirect you, especially when you start, uh, start pe uh, peeking around there to find out what's going on. That's why they acted, acted like uh, they're trained to give you the uh, royal runaround treatment. How do you train a whole town to do that? This is the whole thing. That's the way it felt, at any rate. I can't prove it. Those younger kids, those like teenagers, who were the ones who were the helpful, helpful. The adults generally were very unhelp, helpful with anything other than me, maybe let me cross the street. Those are people just passing through town, though. They had the same law 
they do here in New York State. They're in the crosswalk, pedestrian has right of way. Same as here, no difference. Uh, so, adults were unhelpful, the kids were helpful. I think that's very telling of this whole thing. Alright, we'll go to the next segment. While the place uh, itself was bustling with activity, most of them seemed to be out of town. I don't think there were very many uh, indigenous people who were active there. It was, that was kind of odd in and of itself. Uh, I don't know what it means. Were they all, were they all traveling elsewhere and all the travelers were coming there? Or something else, but I don't know. Once again, it was a little on the odd side. But the place was jumping, there's no question. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about the uh, police station incident. I was out on foot, I left my car up the hill. This is a very hilly area and I walked into the station with my video camera in one hand and my identification in my other hand. And I walked up to the receptionist. She says, may I help you? So I presented my ID, explained that I was from Western New York, and I was studying the t Sandy Hook incident, and I would like to please talk to a media representative and maybe get an interview on tape so I could uh, include it in this report. Well, you're not going to believe the first thing she did. First thing was, she asked me, well, do, are you aware that this is a police station? Now, let me get this straight. I walk in there with a camera in one hand, ID in the other, I explain what I'm doing, and I ask to talk to a media representative, and... She's asking me if I know it's a, uh, this is a cop station. Okay, time to break out the bullshit meter again. That is bullshit. So, after that, Here's what I did. I, uh, well, she told me to wait, and I waited about five minutes or so. And said, came back and said, no, sir, uh, that wasn't handled by this police department. It was handled by state police. So you need to go to exit 14 to talk to the state police about what happened. Uh, for crying out loud, that's such BS. That is... You're going to expect me to believe that the uh, local police department wasn't involved in this? Well, they're already... I, I guess they're already being sued under FOIA or something. There's something going on with it. But even if they weren't, at least I could, you know, ask some qu answer some questions in person. Uh, so I was definitely BS'd, as my uh, pet cow will now attest to.
That is incredible bullshit. I'm going to wrap this up by saying that well, I really expected a trip there with uh, kind of sway me in the direction of the government's case. Yeah, the kids were killed. Here's the memorials. Here's this. Here's that. Doesn't happen. I got to give the government a big fat F on uh, their claims. But something isn't right here. Something is big time wrong with all this. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.